Hi, this is Jeffrey Reddick, creator of Final Destination. Greetings, Slashaholics. This is David Bergantino, author of the Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror books, the Bard's Blood Horror Shakespeare books. Hey guys, this is Jason Brooks, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Vengeance. Hey, this is Slash Forever. Hey everybody, it's CJ Graham, Jason, Friday the 13th Part 6. This is William Patterson, known to Friday the 13th fans as Eric Morris. Hi, this is Deborah Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 5. Hey folks. This is Adam Marcus, director of Jason Goes to Hell and Secret Santa. <laughs> Hello, kitties. This is John Kassir, the voice of the Crypt Keeper. Hi, this is Kane Hodder, better known as Jason from Friday the 13th, Victor Crowley from Hatchet. And you're listening. You're listening. And you're listening. And you're listening. I just want to make sure you guys know you're listening. You are listening. And you are listening. And you are lucky enough to be listening. Okay, boils and ghouls, you are listening. You are listening to the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. The 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To 80s slasher librarian. To 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. To the 80s slasher librarian. Keep listening, or I'll kill you. So you chose to follow Belinda instead of the train. Here's what happened. You ignore the train and sprint after Belinda. You don't want to blow this chance to find out if she is the saboteur. She has a good head start, though, and she's moving quickly. Occasionally, you see her dark figure silhouetted by the moon as she hurries along between the trees. Is she trying to catch up with someone? As the ground slopes down into a gully, she disappears. Then the sounds of yelling and a motor fill the quiet night. You race to the top of the crest. One man is poised on a dirt bike, its motor running. Belinda is struggling with another man. You yell, running down the slope as the man throws Belinda to the ground, and then jumps on behind the man on the bike. The driver guns the motor, and they take off. Oh my God, are you all right? You ask Belinda. Yes, she says, nodding. Evil men. Bad for Mr. Harry. Are they the ones cutting up the irrigation pipes? You ask, helping her up. You feel guilty about having suspected her. Yes, I have put the curse of my people on them. They want me dead. You are also in danger. I see a shadow on your life. I don't believe in that stuff, you tell her. Besides, those guys aren't very smart. They should have picked a better place to sabotage. Harry told me last night that the part from here to the foothills is the least productive land he's got. If he has to sell any more, this section will be the next to go. A stricken expression crosses Belinda's face. No, she says. He mustn't sell this. This land was sacred, sacred to my ancestors. I don't think that's going to have a lot to do with Harry's decision, you tell Belinda. It must, it must, she says. She seems so agitated that you decide to change the subject. You look at the bundle she was carrying, which is now lying on the ground. What's in the bundle, you ask her. Things I must take to the sacred ground of our people she tells you. Where is the sacred ground? On the moon side of the hills, she says, pointing beyond the orchard. Only in the presence of the ancestors may the precious contents be revealed. Come with me, boy. You're curious to see the sacred ground she keeps talking about, but you can't quite shake your suspicions of Belinda. Could the tussle with the men have been staged, you wonder? Is this a trick to lure you to some remote spot? Or will you learn something that might actually help Harry? Okay, listeners, it's time to make another choice. Will you go with Belinda to see what she wants to show you? Or will you refuse? The choice is yours. The path awaits. <laughs>